Hi, Chuck here again, and today I wanted to show you my X210 Mini Quad that I have rebuilt using the Racer Star Star F4S 4-in-1, all-in-1 um, flight controller, OSD, ESC, what else? Um, it has voltage, um, I'm sorry, it has a current monitoring on it. So, um, one thing about this um, light controller is that it's uh, all-in-one which means that all of the little pads are very teeny-weeny and everything is really compact on the board so it's going to take a little bit of uh, soldering skill and I have pretty mediocre skills when it comes to this but was able to get it flying so let me just go ahead and open this thing up and show you how I have this set up so um, first thing you notice is um, probably notice is that I do have a capacitor on here and I also have a wired guide that I had uh, designed and 3D printed um, be just because the pads on the board are very teeny weeny and I wanted some way to stabilize the wire so they don't just get pulled off um, and to immobilize them. So, so I designed this little uh, part here and it works out pretty well. Um, and uh, let's see, so let me just give you a rundown on this. So um, on the one side, uh, closest to the camera here, I have the um, the video um, power and the video um, signal. And this other plug here, I have the uh, camera power and the camera um, signal. So, so one of these goes into the VTX, and the other goes into the to the camera. So, um, on the other side, I have the uh, the receiver for the FR Sky XM Plus uh, running underneath the 4-in-1 board. So I have that um, double-sided uh, sticky taped to the bottom of the uh, frame and it should be okay there and I have the antennas uh, just running out of the arms here on the side. So um, one thing I noticed is that um, I got a motor wire cut after I hit a tree so I armored the um, motor wires using old props so that's probably a pretty good uh, tip for anybody to do on any of their quads um, so a couple of the, couple of the things about this star f4s flight controller um, the video noise is um, pretty intrusive so I do recommend putting on a 1000 microfarad low, low ESR capacitor and that alone wasn't enough to stop the um, video noise for me so I actually ended up putting on a ferrite uh, ring that I had wrapped the uh, VTX power wire around uh, about eight times so the combination of the um, the inductor and the capacitor um, cuts out most of the noise but you do get uh, spots running across the um, video and I'll try to put up some of that um, um, so you can see what that looks like but in general I do really like the this uh, star f4s processor or flight controller but one of the really big letdowns is that it does not have any onboard memory to store black box video and that is a really tough one um, because I do like looking at black box to help tune but fortunately this um, four-in-one flies well enough that I'm able to just um, tune it without looking at black box so um, I would like to take a look at the black box but it's not available on this so I guess that's it um, it's a really good uh, flight controller and I highly recommend it but the video noise uh, may be a deal killer for a lot of people so if you want pristine video no uh, pristine clear video this may not be the uh, flight controller and black box definitely is uh, is uh, an issue so that's it for this and uh, show some flight video um, I'll talk a little bit more later on about the um, racer star uh, BR 2306s 2400 kV motors that I have on here. Um, but uh, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Shine as that is
Let's go.